Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about cabinet door hinges. So the hinge that we are, we're going to talk about today is the by brand DTC. So in this one, what we are going to talk about is the adjustment screws and I'll explain about them in detail. Then how to remove and install back the uh, door. So now we are going to talk about how to adjust your cabinet door. So in this one, you can move your door front, back, left, right, and then also up and down. So now I will explain that. So if you see, there are multiple screws on this hinge. So these two are the uh, door mounting screws, so you don't have to worry about this. And then there are screws here on the top and on the bottom. Those are the uh, hinge mount plate screws. So again, they are only used to install the hinge. So now there are three screws. So one is on the top, then here in the front and here in the back. So now the screw that's on the top, so if you loosen or tighten it, it will move the door up and down, which is a vertical movement of the cabinet door. And now the second screw here is if you tighten it or lose it, it will move the door left or right, which is the horizontal movement. And then the third door here, uh, sorry, the third screw here is when you uh, lose or tighten it, then it makes the door go front and back. So now in this one, the this door is lower, this is high, so I have to adjust it. So when I go to the left door here, so there is this uh, screw that goes up and down. So I have to lower the door a little bit. So when I do that, if you see the gap is already decreased and on the right side door, I will be tightening the screw to go it up. So now if you see the doors are aligned. So to open the door at the back, if you see there's a button, so when you press it, it, it unhooks the door and same thing you do with the uh, bottom hinge. So when you do that, it will unhook and you can remove the door. So to install back the hinge, you have to slide these two parts first into the hinge. So one goes here where there is a curve and the second one goes here in the hole. So you just have to slide it and then when you put that second part on the hole and push it, it gets the hinge installed back to the uh, wall mount. So I'll show you again if this is unhooked. So now these two parts, so first you slide it in, then you press it on top and then it gets installed. So now after installing the top hinge, when I was installing the base, it was not getting installed properly. So sometimes what happens is, if these two things are not aligned, like the, the cabinet door hinge as, and the wall mount, you may have to adjust the screws a little bit to make it align so you can install it properly. So now you can either make this screw, uh, like when you uh, turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise, it will make the hinge go backward or forward, or you have to adjust the wall mount so it can go up and down and then you can install it. So now I adjusted it and then now it's easy to go. Thanks for watching and if this video helped you to solve your cabinet adjustment issue, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I post home maintenance videos, so please go and check other videos. Thank you.